What's up, fight fans, moviegoers, Jedis, and Sith? I'm Jay Cotto, the Boxing Jedi, and welcome to the Boxing and Jedi's Temple. And, uh, well, I, uh, re reason for this video is I just finished watching uh, a very old school movie. Uh, I'm not sure. Actually, no, let me, let me reframe that. Uh, let me refrain from that. I know that this generation knows nothing of this movie. But people that are my age, I'm more than sure you guys know about this movie. I'm about to mention. Before I do, though, I just want to let you know that this movie, when you watch it, it will, it will set all this feminism, all of this, uh, all of this uh, gay agenda, everything that's not the norm, when you watch this movie, it will set the norm. And after you watch this movie, I think you should do exactly what I'm doing and plug it because it is going to set the levels of a man and a woman on a straight path. Once again, possibly sending ripples through Hollywood, and possibly cutting right through the feminism and the agendas that are going on today. The movie I speak of, and when I watched it, I said, holy shit. Wow. This movie hits all bases. And it destroys the agenda. It destroys, it, it, it destroys the SJW agenda that's going on as well, mixed with the, the leftist, far leftist agendas, it totally destroys it. And no one speaks of this movie because no one knows the power of this movie. And the power of this movie hit me today. Now, yeah, you have to be a movie buff in order to know this movie. Now, if you have no idea of this movie, I will break it down to you. The movie I speak of is with Michael Douglas, Kathleen Turner. It was in the early 80s, and it was called War of the Roses. And it also had Daddy DeVito in it. Now, let me tell you something about this movie. The same thing with Miss Holy Shit. The same thing with Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt. Now, these movies where you have the conflict with the male and female being at an equal platform, settling their differences with these. Yeah, that's what War of the Roses is. War of the Roses is a divorce, a marriage gone bad, and they divorce each other, and they have to live in the same house, and they try to eliminate each other the best way possible. Kathleen Turner and Michael Douglas, if I'm not mistaken, I think they won an Oscar for that role, for that, move, for that movie, if I'm not mistaken. It was a great fucking movie. That movie right there, the, and, 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 and this is what it has to do. We, we have to plug old school movies like this in order to set the standards now. In order to set them back exactly where they belong. So you had, you had War of the Roses, and the one that was that was close to that beyond War of the Roses was Mr. and Mrs. Smith. And we all seen Mr. and Mr. Smith. Movies like this where, because think about it, you can tell this is an agenda. It's all political. It's all because of wanting to get Trump out of office. So they're trying to do everything that they can to make it seem like it's it, but it's not, right? Where were the SJWs then? Even with Mr. and Mrs. Smith, because a man putting his hands on a woman, right? Where, where were they? It's because the movies then, from Mr. and Mrs. Smith, back, but back all the way down, it's because those movies were written correctly. They had great actors, and they knew what, what made money. Divorces... To this day, 
Now, when, when they used to make these movies where, you know, they had conflict and physical conflict and they also made it a comedy, you see? So it wasn't done in poor taste. You know, these were writers where this was where the Oscars mattered. This was where the true art form of whatever it was that you did in Hollywood, this was the platform. And now, now it's all gone. It's so easy for one to achieve in any platform now, from sports to movies to music, you know. And of course, since then, since the greats, some of them may they rest. It's like the population has increased since then. So it's easier for one to gain more numbers now, right? But just think about the work ethic and how it's timeless music, timeless acting, timeless. Like, I'll put Humphrey Bogart against any actor of today. May he rest. You guys got to check out the Maltese Falcon. Now, I, I'm, I'm one that I'm, I'm a mo I love movies. You know what I'm saying? I'll put James Cagney against anybody. I mean, you know, these, this is timeless. And when I say timeless, I emphasize on timeless, guys. Timeless performances. You know? And when you go look at War of the Roses with Michael Douglas and Kathleen Turner, you will see <clears throat> that movies like this, you have to... You have to you have to plug and you have to pass them down in order to keep sane within this bullshit world we're living in. Let me tell you something. When I seen ba ba Battle Angel, uh, Alita Battle Angel, for the first time in a long time, I felt like, holy shit, I enjoyed myself out of movies. Now, it wasn't because of the of the IMAX 3D and shit. No, it wasn't because of that. It was because of the movie itself. Beyond the visuals, the visuals is just a, a treat, but... The story matched with each and every character and and everybody that was a side character played their role to the T. And, and you, you, you even found, like I found myself gritting like expressions and into the movie because of the of the of the. Uh, relationship that you build with the character within those one hour and 45 fucking minutes but 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 when a when a director is able to do that you already know that that they know what they're doing they're professional and they're basically taking it all the way to the top of their form of their art form and when a director and the whole team the whole production can make a product, put it on screen, and have you still talk about it, and make me go and think of War of the Roses as to holy shit, this is the answer. This is how you, this is how you put in all the microfibers of of SJW fuckness and take it all out and put in the fiber of you know normality back into the fucking mix. You know so. I'm telling you guys right now, go check out War of the Roses. And everybody that's old school, about my age or higher, you know what I'm talking about. And I'm more than sure you're going to agree with me. See that movie again and you will see and you will feel exactly what a man and a woman on screen, whether you're into sci-fi, whether you're into drama, whether you're into comedy, or everything has been polluted with this SJW shit. This movie has drama, comedy, action, has everything. And at the end, it brings the man and the woman to an understanding. Watch War of the Roses. This is the cure for SJW activities. Trust me. Trust me. I feel good. I saw it again and I feel great. It's a great movie. See it again. War of the Roses. Otherwise than that, I'm J. Cotto, your boy telling the truth with the sport of boxing, movies, and Star Wars. Otherwise than that, God bless, stay vigilant, and may the force be with you. Peace.